Now, Drake is stepping in the ring of sneakers and he is throwing hands right now. The man got some heat that's about to drop and I'm shocked because normally it ain't my type of vibe, but what he's about to release, yeah, they fire. Yeah, let's talk about it. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Porter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you are interested in streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion, this is the place to be. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below to let me know that you are part of the tribe, you dig? Now, today we are talking about the Drake Nocta and Nike collaboration that they have with the hot stepper that they're about to release. I was shocked as hell that I even, I heard about it to be honest, and I was like, eh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it until I actually got a look at it and he impressed me. This collaboration just impressed me overall. So let's just hop into it real quick. Let's talk about it. Y'all know how we do it, let's go. Now we already know that Drake has had a long lasting partnership with Nike for some odd time now. And every time he does drop something, it has been some bangers. I have to say, it has been he. But the, lately when I heard about the collaboration that was coming out, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. It's not gonna be a Jordan brand that usually he's connected with. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I don't know if I'm gonna even like, even take a look at it. But when I did take a look, I'm actually happy that I did because this is fire. This, this is actually fire for it to be such a plain sneaker. It's not a plain sneaker. Let me break it down to you all. Now, right off the back, I can see that this is a functional sneaker. This isn't something that he went to a lifetime sneaker. He didn't just grab a dunk or a skateboard, a SB dunk or something, or he didn't go to grab a Air Max 90 or Air Max 1, which I am happy about. I'm glad because that's what most people gravitate towards. They go to the same type of sneaker and try to recreate them in multiple ways and it gets boring. But he went another route and I'm here for it because why it brings, it makes me feel like they're bringing homage to the 90s. And I grew up in this era and back then, this type of sneaker that they have is something that I would have worn every day. Now, even if it didn't have the name Drake connected to it, or if it didn't have Nocta connected to it or anything like that, and they just released this as a regular Nike sneaker, I would still go after this because I think it's fire. Now looking at this sneaker, there is a lot of things that you can pay attention to because there's a lot of things like hidden things and things that's right in your face. Now jumping into it, you can already see the midsole is something that's gonna be an eye catcher because this actually gives homage to the 90s from the Air Terra Humera that was dropped in the 90s. And this was designed by the gentleman of, I'll put his name right here so you all can do some research and check it out. But like I said, this pays homage to the 90s and this is something that I will actually have worn as a kid every day. Now at the top they have this pebble leather so it's kind of like that basketball leather that I was telling you all about last week. And I think that's fire because it's something that's a small attention getter. You will have to pay attention to it. You will have to get closer to the sneaker to actually see that it's pebble leather. And it actually gives some wear and tear to it. So that means no matter how much you wear it, it won't damage the sneaker. It won't have too much bend to it. So it won't make it look ugly or anything like that. It will actually look like that's how it's supposed to be as you move forward and the sneaker starts to age. Now, I was kind of thrown off a bit from looking at the sneaker when I first saw it because I didn't understand what the whole dots was, the trail of dots. I didn't understand it at first until now and it's a trail of 3M. So you can see this on later on in the evening. So when you wear this in the nighttime and some lights around and it hits those sneakers, you will see a trail of dots that's going on there and you'll also see it around the tongue area and laces of your sneaker. It's attention to detail. That's something that really grabs my attention. If you focus on something like that, in the daytime, it actually is functional. And then in the evening, it's also functional as well. Now at the bottom of your sneaker on the outer sole, you will have G-Tech technology that's at the bottom. So it actually adds some comfort and support to your feet as you walk throughout the day. We already know that when you wear sneakers and you wear them all day, your feet start to hurt and everything. But when you have something like this, it's good to know that they are creating a sneaker that is built for support and comfortability. Now the only thing that I could say that I do not like, but it's something that's really small. It's nothing that will make me turn away from the sneaker completely. But you know, you all know how I am. I just don't like like a lot of branding and it's a lot of the branding on top of the sneaker it's nike everywhere it's a nike swoosh on the front it's a nike swoosh on the back it's a nike swoosh on the side it's just nike 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 everywhere it's plastic that's just for me specifically i don't know about you all but i don't like to see a lot of branding everywhere i would rather somebody just focus on my sneaker and see the complete design and let them enjoy it without even them having to know hey this is nike even though the swoosh will also give people the idea of course they know that it's a nike 
but I don't want people to just focus on, oh, it's a Nike, so it's fire. I'd rather people focus on the fact that the design is fire itself and you will actually wear this design because it's fire. Now also at the bottom, you can see that there's like a stripe of yellow that's at the bottom. I mean, what time doesn't Drake add his own like logo or his signature style to a sneaker? And that's of course adding white and having some yellow around. That's his over your style, that's his over your color. So he's gonna put that in your face, whether it's something that's slight, he's gonna make sure that he actually shows his branding as well to show that his name Drake is connected to the sneaker design. Now I also like the air bubble that's in the back. You know I am a sucker for that so it also reminds me of the Air Max. I love that idea that air bubble that's in the back. I think it's fire and like I said it just gives like this old retro 90s vibe to it. It gives some real homage to the 90s so for anybody that actually grew up in this era you can appreciate a sneaker design like this even more instead of just appreciating the fact that it's drake you'll appreciate the idea of this type of sneaker that was created because we're going back in time with these type of sneakers now all in all i will say that this is a solid nine out of ten for me because like i said it gives me homage to my childhood and at the same time also this sneaker is white it's a multifunctional sneaker i would wear it because it's white of course show that clean crisp white to it but even in due time as the days continue to go on this is something i can see myself wearing multiple times not just wearing it because it's a drake collaboration or i'm trying to be fashionable i could wear this as an everyday sneaker too this is a multifunctional sneaker this is meant for you to be on a football field or run in the street or hit the trail and hike up some mountains or whatever you want to do you can actually move around in this sneaker and it's built to be tough it's damn near like a built for tough if you want to say <laughs> but uh I actually like the design, I like the layout of this sneaker, and I don't want nobody to call this a dash sneaker. Please do not call this a dash sneaker. I am so out of that phase of people calling everything a dad hat, dad sneaker. It's just a sneaker that's fire. Simple. It's an old school sneaker and it's fire. Simple as that. I like the design, I like the layout, I like the little hidden Easter eggs that's under there. I like the stripe of yellow that he added up in there for you to show that it's a Drake collaboration. I like the 3M that they added, the pebble leather. I love the tongue, the design. I like how they have the entire vortex on the side. I think that is fire. So everything all in all, I actually do love this. Like I said, besides the branding that they have everywhere, this is still a solid nine out of 10. So shout out to the collaboration of Drake, Nocta, and Nike all together. I think this is fire. Um, for those who wanna know, this is gonna be going for 180 or 190. I think it's about 180 or 190, and it will be dropping on Thursday, March 3rd. So if you are a Drake fan, or if you are just a fan of this sneaker in general, this will be dropping on March 3rd, Thursday. And it's gonna be going for the price of 180 or 190. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, man, Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you think of this sneaker. Do you think it's hot? Do you think it'll be overhyped? I'm already knowing that it's gonna sell out. Like people are gonna attract to this like moth to a flame. So do you think you'll be going after this? Do you think it's even worth buying? Do you think it's just gonna be overhyped? It's overpriced? Let me know what y'all think. Drop those comments down below and get up with me and I will respond back to y'all right back. So. I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all already know how I do. I appreciate y'all watching the video. I will be catching up with y'all next time. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.